Hi, it's your girl Didi, and you're watching the Didi Co Show. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Didi Co. If you didn't get that from the intro, and I'm always at a window, you ain't know. It's that time of the year again where I tell y'all what goals I accomplished from my goals 2019 video and let's see if I did better than last year. I have to go back to the other video and see how many I accomplished to compare it to this year. But anyway, on to the list. As y'all know, I got my little handy dandy notepad here of when I made it on the first or the last day of 2018. So. First day of 2019. Okay. The first one was a fail. It was to be 165 pounds. I actually kept going up in size. So um, I went from probably when I wrote this, I was probably like 180. Now I am like 205. I'm 205 pounds. And my goal is to. Y'all see my goals. I'm going to have a part two to this video where it's goals 2020. So this is accomplished goals 2019. So whatever. The second one was a fail. Um, it was get at least one scholarship. Your girl couldn't even do that. But I will succeed in life. I will. I'm graduating now so I can't even put that on the goals list for a future. Number three a new job but I had crossed it out but your girl got a new job about three weeks ago so I did it in 2019 and that was a success the next one was limit leisure spending I did it periodically throughout the year but I did so much better than 2018 2018 I was like cha-ching cha-ching rainbow 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 if y'all don't know what <clears throat> I mean by rainbow it's the rainbow shop store and app like go look it up I've done hauls on them all that but this year um since I was out of a job since August 3rd I was like yo I need to save I just spent a hundred dollars this weekend on all shoes because my mom started that otherwise I was doing really good I was only paying for transportation to work and that was it I have three doctor's appointments coming up this week and I need to pay all their co-pays hopefully I have it anyway the next one was get my belly pierced. I did. And the result of that was Andiojima. Those who've been following me for a minute, y'all know I got my belly pierced February 2019. And it caused so much health problems till this day. But it is what it is. It was cute for the little three, two months I've had, had it. It was cute and I have an Audi so and it was had to be below my Audi because that's where my dip was they said we couldn't put it on the top of your belly button because your body might reject it my body rejected it regardless every time I change environments they come back but it's so much better so much better than March and April when I first started getting them so I got my belly pierced but it caused more health problems than what I have my next one was wear all my shoes honey honey I don't live for them because I live for God but if I didn't you know honey I wear all my shoes <laughs> okay people think I just buy stuff to just buy it but no I grew up in a home where you appreciate everything you have so I don't just buy stuff just to buy it a lot of the time but I wear all my shoes and I just bought five more this weekend. I've never bought that many shoes in one sitting. I'm having this big old yard sale in June, so I'm gonna be blessing people as God bless me. Next, become a better African dancer. I did. The summer of 2019, I went back to the company I danced with for 10 years of my life every Thursday night, and it was just. It fulfilled a place in my heart where I had missed dancing so much and it was just like radiating through me like it was so fulfilling it was so fulfilling like 
I became a better one. I learned dances that I saw growing up that I always wanted to learn and I finally got to do some of that. And it was just great. Thanks to my god sister for that. Learn another type of dance. So the beginning of 2019, I got back on Are You Hype was a hip hop dance team. You know, it was sexy dancing, fast dancing, jerking. It was everything that I wanted to do. And I got to perform around campus. And it was so fun. Like, I got to be sexy. I got to wear stuff. Like, I learned another type of dance and it was so worth it. I accomplished that goal. Join SLAN. Now, for those who don't know what SLAN is, it means shimmy like a noop. And noops are a, a black Greek fraternity. Um, and they're also known as Kappas. So, it was a shock that I got in. But it wasn't more, it was more like a spur of the moment thing. I auditioned and didn't get in. But then three people had dropped out. And it was like, yeah, that girl with the big hair, that audition, can you bring her in? Because my roommate at the time had made it on the team again. And I saw had saw her the previous year on Slan. I was like, I want to do it. Because when you're in Slan, you get clout like a mother. Okay? And that's initially why I wanted to be in it. But then, after a while, I wanted to do the shoulders. I didn't give a care about the clout. Um, I didn't get any, for those who wondered, I didn't get any clout at all. Um, barely even after the show was over, like, it was just stares, because country dudes do that, they stare. But yeah, I joined Slan. That is off, checked off my goals list for 2019. Um, my next one was have no flashback makeup. And it was such a task for me because every time I took pictures when I did a full face oh I'm fat I look like a ghost um and it was just you know I always say that when I do my makeup but I succeeded this year thanks to Maybelline fit me powder and YouTube yeah so I succeeded with that one success my next one was get makeup professionally did never happened didn't really have events for me to do and search for that. Um, no opportunities opened themselves up to me when it should have been a two-way street for me to go look for MUA. But um, I guess I could put that on my goals for next year. I gotta advise that list. You'll be surprised for my goals 2020 list. You'll see how much more mature I've gotten since last year. Faithfully post on my IG pages. I did. But like everybody's bucket list. They commit to whatever they want to do for like the first month or two of the year. And then they forget it. I was good for like a good four or five months. And then that was dead. Because I was like I have way too many pages on whatever. Yeah. So that was like a. I did. I did faithfully post. That was a success. And it says, faithfully post on my YouTube. Now, I will agree that I have. Because I wasn't pumping them out. Like, when I do a lot of videos at once, I liked, I had like to do it every other day. But, you know, it, when you post every other day, your material runs out like that. And you're not ready to do a whole nother elaborate, thought out, planned video. So, when I did do videos, I would put it out once or twice a week instead of every other day so that was great and consistent um but that was great and consistent more so in school which was surprising because I've been home three weeks now this is the first time I'm making a video at home because my life every time I come back home my life becomes more and more hectic and busy and scheduled and it's a beautiful thing because I'm not just stuck in my house even though some days it does feel like that but I'm so like I am so social at home so when I'm at school pumping out videos it's because I stay in my room I am a hermit at school hopefully this camera doesn't die on me but yes um, I faithfully post on YouTube the next one was to begin to play the cello again 
which was a fail. Uh, I did reach out to my school musicians, directors, whatever. You can't rent a cello if you don't have a class. We just don't rent out cellos to anybody. Da -da -da -da. So I just said that could be one for next year. But that's probably even a stretch. So the last one oh, was repeated. So that was all of my um, goals for 2019. And better than last year, I was successful in most of my goals than in 2018 so I only did not succeed in one two three four goals out of 14 goals I did not succeed in four of them so I succeeded in 10 accomplishing 10 goals hopefully for goal, goals 2020 I accomplish all of those goals and I know I'll put my mind to it once I graduate in five months from now um, so once those five months are up it ain't nothing but me time. It ain't nothing but me time. So, anyway, I'm just gonna cut this video short. Here's my outro. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, go check out some other videos. Be ready for part two when I explain or when I tell you my goals for 2020. I love y'all. This is the Didi Co Show.